we're going to close down 2022 down in the markets. And what does that mean? For existing investors, staying the course is always the best. But for new investors moving into 2023, perhaps maybe you're looking at these stock markets and you're thinking, there's no way I want to be a participant in this. It might be a mistake. And remember why we invest. We invest for the long term. And this is shaping up to be an opportunity to put some capital to work uh, for your future. Now, not promising that 2023 is going to be any better than 2022. But here's five things to think of if you're seeing this video and you're wanting to understand what it is that you could potentially do to set yourself up for a beginning program. We're going to rip through these. The first thing you need to do is to start investing. Uh, I contend on the channel that people need to invest as a necessity, not as a right, okay? There needs to be a sense of urgency to identify what you need to do to secure your financial future and to start investing is doing one of those things. Now, you might be thinking, Ryan, isn't now a bad time to, to start investing? Absolutely not. I would say that the further down the market goes, the more of a potential opportunity it provides for people to actually jump in this market and take advantage of the volatility rather than waiting for things to uh, Im improve over time. And then you're just buying the market at higher, more elevated prices. Right now, prices are recessing. Um, and they are recessed in value. So you're getting kind of a multi-year discount right now. If you're out there and you're wondering whether or not you should be stepping into markets, absolutely. You want to be doing what is contrary to the uh, public opinion. And public opinion right now is that the stock market will never go up again. The stock market is going to zero. We will inevitably enter into a recession. And all these, these thinking heads have failed to understand that it is absolutely close to impossible to forecast where markets will go. What we have right now is a market and an S&P that will finish the year down. And buying the markets down is usually the most opportune time to pick up stock. Now, if you sit on it for the long term, what does it matter what happens in 2023? So the first thing you need to do is assess whether or not you can start investing or whether or not you're an existing investor looking to take some strategic capital and put it to work here in financial markets. Number two is to define your investing philosophy. I see this to be a theme across YouTube and it's because there's a lot of inexperience out there talking about what it is that they do is investing. They get a little bit of um, a little bit of success with that strategy, and then they think that that's the strategy that's good for everybody else. It couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, I share on my channel uh, 20 specifically and five uh, alternate supplementary strategies that I use in stock market investing from anything from bond value, bond dividend investing, uh, ETFs, um, across the board, the importance of having cash on the side, um, and, and really looking to exploit multiple opportunities in the market, passive investing through index and ETF investing, uh, dividend growth investing through uh, dividend ETFs, uh, dividend growth investing through single stock ownership of those tried and true best companies out there that we've known and love, your Johnson & Johnsons, your, your Pfizer, the, you know, your Merck uh, of the world, Home Depot, Costco, companies like that. And then you've got your growth companies out there as well maybe even put a little strategic risk on the table. Um, I can satisfy a lot of different palettes out there as I typically don't like to adhere to one style of investing. My comprehensive portfolio is just my access to the market. Uh, and it makes sense for me. And the idea is that you define your own philosophy and what it is that you want to get out of the stock market and then look to deploy that plan going forward moving into 2023. The third thing is to invest in a self-directed Roth IRA. The IRA contributions have went up by $500 for single. It'd be a double that for a married couple here to $6,500. You want to make sure that you're mass maximizing your Roth IRAs. Now, I teach upon and introduce the self-directed investing um, because nobody knows about it, okay? Self-directed Roth IRAs, nobody knows about it. You can avoid the annual fees that they'll charge you. You can avoid all of the dollar cost averaging fees by just opting into this one program here. Number four is to start a funding strategy, okay? Now, for you guys that have dollar cost average strategies, you might wanna increase that funding, but for you guys that are looking to start your account, start investing, identify and parlay those dollars 
start with $25 uh, every couple of weeks, every month, that'll go into an investing program and buy the market low and buy the market high. Uh, over time, those averages will look to pay you uh, and get you maximum exposure to the market during all markets. And you don't have to try to pick you know, your, your opportune times. You just introduce capital that you know is gonna be surplus capital in your budget anyway, and you introduce that uh, constantly to flow into the market. And the fifth thing that I want everybody to understand about investing and investing in 2023 and beyond is to lower your spending habits and potentially reduce debt. We cannot talk about investing and the benefits that exist therein if you're being succumbed to the um, negative effects of interest rates with high interest credit cards, uh, with those credit cards that just consume you while you're working so hard to try to get ahead on maybe the income side or maybe even the investment side of the house. We wanna make sure and we wanna flip the script and we wanna make sure that that positive interest rate is working for you on the positive side and that you don't have that consumption on the negative side. You might be really running in a vacuum or, or running in quicksand to try to get ahead and find it uh, awfully difficult to do so. Uh, when you're just always being consumed by that interest debt that you're paying that just could easily be uh, going toward your investment philosophy. So guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure and subscribe to the channel and uh, appreciate you kicking with me uh, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot.